Okay, so today we're going to be taking another look at the package called Serial Port. And today we're going to be playing around with virtual serial ports. Now, let me just quickly go over why you want to use virtual serial ports and what you can use them for. If you don't care, skip 20 seconds. The first reason why is for debugging. Let's say you have a ham radio program. Well, it can be good to, instead of talking to the real hardware, then you can build some kind of emulator that can test the connection and send all of the signals that you need to test. And that also sort of corresponds with, let's say that you're developing your own application in Node or C Sharp and you want to have that debugging, then virtual serial port can really be a very good program for that debugging. Because if you are sending it out to hardware, it becomes a little bit more difficult. It's just easier with virtual serial ports. And the last reason is cross application communication. So let's say you have a C++ program and you want that to talk to your node application, then you can use virtual serial ports to make that communication. And today's example is actually going to be two node applications talking to each other. In this example is one way, but you could also make it both ways. Now to make this work, you will need some kind of software to create the virtual serial ports. And today I'm using com 0 com which is a free and open source program that is very simple to use. So once you have installed it, all you want to do is hit add pair and that will add a pair. They will most likely not be named com5 and com6. They will have some kind of name and you can change the name up here. That really does not matter. You just have to remember that that name you put here and here, that is the names you want to put here in the reader and in the writer. Now let me just quickly go over the actual application and run it so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's run our reader and then let's put that over there and let's run our writer here. There you go. And you can see that that is sending out the object to our reader. And that could pretty much be anything. It doesn't have to be an object. The way the writer works is just we import the serial port package like usual. We connect to the COM port. Notice that we're not defining a port rate. We don't have to. We can enable it in here to simulate the port rate, but you really don't have to since we are using virtual serial ports. So maybe something you have to do if you are communicating with somebody else's program. But if you're developing both programs, then you don't have to use it. And here we have a simple object. And all we do is we stringify that and then we write it out to the serial port. On our writer here, we just connect to COM port 6 and then we just on data. And all we do is that we make sure to convert that to a string with UTF-8. And then we use json.pass to pass that and then we print it out. Of course, you could do something else here where you actually did something with the data. But this is just, you know, a simple application to hopefully get your mind spinning. And hopefully, you know, this will just um, get you in the mindset of how it works. If you want me to do a more complicated example, please comment down below what sort of example you would like. And maybe we could try to communicate with a program. Maybe we could try writing something in C sharp and communicating with Node or pretty much anything. We do have to keep it around the five minute mark. And guys, that was everything for today and hopefully see you in the next one.